Hello, welcome to another fabulous day here in Flatbush in Brooklyn. Today we're going to visit the neighborhoods of Old Mill Basin and Mill Basin. It's not too far from here, so stay with me and we'll see how the neighborhoods are. Mill Basin and Old Mill Basin are quiet residential neighborhoods in the southeastern part of Brooklyn. They are actually two neighborhoods, though often thought of as one. Mill Basin is located on the peninsula alongside Jamaica Bay and has a shoreline on three sides. The area was originally named for the many tide mills set up along the bay. As most of the old Brooklyn neighborhoods, the area has an interesting history. One of the first and largest houses built in the area dates back to the early 1700s. It was owned by the Shank family. By the way, Brooklynites might recognize the street named Shank Avenue, which is a major street running through East New York today. Brooklyn historian John Manbeck wrote that the house was located where East 63rd Street now runs. And in the 1950s, it was dismantled and later reassembled inside the Brooklyn Museum. You can visit the house there to see what the homes were like in that period. Much, much smaller than ours are today, I could tell you that much. Mill Basin has been characterized by the New York Times as a suburban community with a nearly 360 shoreline. Most of the current housing stock was developed, started in the 20th century. Another fun fact, it is one of the only places in New York, Brooklyn in fact, where houses have private boat docks. And today the neighborhood has evolved to include some of New York City's most luxurious houses. Old Mill Basin, further to the northeast, is defined as a portion of the neighborhood north of Avenue U. Most of our real estate activity is located in this area, which began its home housing boom from the 1920s to the 50s. Today, the tree-lined streets are lined with a mix of semi-detached frame houses, brick bungalows, and two to three family homes. There are also a few low-rise co-op and condo buildings. One of the largest of these condo complexes is called Fillmore Gardens, and it stretches over a number of streets. I actually recently visited one of them with my, my client, who is looking for a condo in the area because the homes in Mill Basin tend to be slightly lower than other parts of Brooklyn. Suzette didn't actually take the co condo because it requires, as most condos do, a 20% down payment, which would have worked out to be about 70,000. And though she's pre-qualified and could afford it, she did not want to invest that much cash money as a down payment. Something to think about when you're buying a condo. But there are a lot of other things to choose from in the area, so we're still looking. Co-op here in Mill Basin, another quiet neighborhood in Brooklyn. Let's go inside and see what they have to offer. Let's go. Suzette, what did you think? I think it's lovely, beautiful, ready, ready to move in. The price of these one to three family homes in the area range from the low 200s from the one to two bedroom co-ops to just around a million dollars or more for the three families. Residents living in these neighborhoods are offered an urban, suburban, mixed atmosphere and approximately 70% of the residents own their own homes. The Mill Basin Civic Association is a strong community group which manages a lot of different community and civic activities for the youth and adults in the area. Commercial activities are centered around the many family-owned shops and restaurants, primarily 
located along Strickland Avenue, Avenue U, and Ralph Avenue. We shop in the area since it is not too far from East Flatbush and not as busy as the Flatbush Shopping District. District. Our dentist, Dr. Smith, is a marvelous dentist on Ralph Avenue, and we bank and shop at the local Food Town Plaza, also on Ralph. Of course, for the serious shoppers, there is King's Plaza Shopping Mall, which is actually located at the end of Flatbush Avenue, with approximately 4,200 jobs in retail services and over 120 individual stores, King's Plaza is the largest indoor shopping center within Brooklyn. The area is not served by a major subway, but there is an express bus which goes directly to Manhattan from King's Plaza and all the other local best bus lines terminate at the same stop. There's lots of recreational activities Nearby is the Floyd Bennett Field, which was the first airport actually in New York City and is now part of the Gateway National Recreational Center. There are numerous other parks for recreation and as well as a, a Strikes Bowling Alley, which is one of the few remaining bowling alleys in New York City. For schools, you have lots of private ones around Mill Basin, such as the Achiever Crown Heights and St. Bernard Catholic Academy. It is well served by New York City public schools and historically they have been ranked among the top public schools in the city. If you are inter interested in visiting Mill Basin and seeing any of the homes there, please reach out to me at my contact information. And remember to give a thumbs up if you like the content of this video. Welcome to Mill Basin!